This is a question which is in your NCERT books. It was also asked in the CBSC examination of year 2008 and 12. The question says cos square x dy by dx plus y is equal to tan x and x has this range. Now one thing to understand is you cannot proceed directly with the linear equation form because here cos square x is multiplied but this cos square x does not come in the general form. Remember what was the general form dy by dx plus py is equal to q is the general form. Now there is nothing in the coefficient of dy by dx except 1 but here it is cos square x. So you cannot proceed with the solution directly. You cannot say p is your 1 and q is tan x because first you need to make it in the general form. So let's start with the solution and I'll write my general form definitely is something like this but I have to compare the question in a manner that first I divide by cos square x. So cos square x division will give me 1. Here it becomes 1 upon cos square x which is secant square x y and here it becomes tan x upon cos square x. Now what is tan x? It is sin x upon cos x. So it is sin x upon cos x. So I can directly write in the next step that dy by dx plus secant square x y is equal to sin x upon cos x and here also it is cos square x. Now it is up to me will I keep it as cos square x in the denominator with cos x multiplied or I keep it like this only. So let's name these equations this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Now one thing is very clear that now I can find p and q. So comparing say 1 and 2 what is my p? My p is secant square x. What is my q? My q is tan x upon cos square x or secant square x and multiplying by this gives me multiply by tan x. Now what should be the next step? The next step should be multiply this equation by the integrating factor but first I need to find the integrating factor. So my integrating factor is equal to e raised to the power p dx which is e raised to the power secant square x dx right. Now what is the integration of secant square x? It is tan x so it should be e raised to the power tan x is your integrating factor. Now the next step is what very clear one step I am missing up that you have to multiply the whole equation by the integrating factor. Directly I am going to the next step y into integrating factor is equal to q into integrating factor dx plus c. So y into integrating factor is e raised to the power tan x is equal to q into integrating factor where is q? q that we have found out is secant square x tan x. And again I have an integrating factor which is e raised to the power tan x. So let me write it here only. And one thing that you have to make it clear that it is e raised to the power tan x plus c. Now what is the differentiation? There is no pa part of differentiation. What is the integration? That I have to check. Now see if I put my tan x is equal to t. Then secant square x dx is equal to dt definitely some things would work. So I am going to use the substitution put tan x is equal to t secant square x dx is equal to dt and you have to put in the previous equation. So y e raised to the power tan x is equal to integration secant square x dx is dt e raised to the power tan x is t multiplied by t. Now can I apply i late to this? i late is what? The technique to integrate by parts. So what would be the first function t, the second function e raised to the power t. Let's just start by solving it, if this should be plus c. Now first function into integration of second minus differentiation of first into integration of second, whole integration done and now I have plus say capital C, another constant of integration. Just simply one last step left, what is it? You have to put the value of t from here. So if I name this as equation number 4, you can write put 4. So y e raised to the power tan x 
is equal to tan x multiply by e raised to the power t minus e raised to the power t means tan x minus 1 e raised to the power tan x plus c and that is the answer and where this capital C is the new constant of integration that you can write. So this is how you do this you have to keep into mind that general equation can be compared with the given question only if the format is acceptable otherwise you have to manipulate the question as we did in this problem.